Now, Heartland Sports with Luke Randall. Hello everyone, a great moment for some great athletes from CMOS history. Let's head right out to the Show Me Center. CMO today presenting its 2023 Hall of Fame class. Six inductees this year with athletes across several different sports. Multi-sport athlete Rick Weezer was with CMO baseball when they finished third in the nation at the College World Series. He also was the football team's starting quarterback for a couple of year, years. You can see him right there. Weezer spoke on what it's like to stand in front of the crowd once again. Well, it's just, you know, a chance to come back and wave to the fans after a winning ball game and like today was a chance to give back a little bit, show appreciation for the fans. Another Hall of Famer, Jackson native Blake Smith. He set several records for not just the school, but the Ohio Valley Conference. You can see him right there with quite a different hairdo from what he has today. After college, he went pro and he finished seventh in the world at the 60 meter in 2018. Smith speaking about what it meant to be inducted. Um, seeing all the pictures just kind of brought, brought me right back to what, uh, what all kind of took place in all those years back here. Um, just really proud, honestly, of, of being a part of it and uh, to be selected, it's a huge honor. Well, it was a huge moment for all the inductees and of course their families, but Obviously, basketball to be played. Let's get straight into the women's game. The Red Hawks, pretty close. They claw their way right back into this game. But in the final six minutes, Western Illinois just dominates. You can see Simo's defense, which held strong for much of the second half, just finally collapsing here, unable to just mark their guys. And unfortunately, the Red Hawks unable to string anything together in the final four minutes, only getting scores from the three throw line. For the Red Hawks, a great effort, but it's an opportunity that they know they just missed out on. They will stay in Cape midweek for a showdown versus Tennessee Tech. Now, for the men's game, pretty interesting to start. Simo making some splash plays, but the problem was the splash plays were just too far apart from each other, and Western Illinois just demonstrated a lot more consistency. They were able to find the right looks. They were able to get everything that they wanted, and that's why the Leathernecks would actually go on to win by more than 20 points. We got a dunk coming up in a moment here, but the Leathernecks hold strong. Simo will look to rebound, and here's that dunk right here. This kind of just took all the momentum out for Simo. We'll have more Chiefs, football, everything coming up at 10. 